As the population in Delhi grows more and more, textile factories spring up. These factories are one of the many pollution problems India is currently facing. This is like Western nations' industrial revolution, when immigrants flooded into countries like the US, often overpopulating cities in cramped slums called tenants. This caused, like in India, for more jobs and more factories factories to be created. These factories often bent building guidelines so more people could work for less and work for more hours. The latest data shows that there are about 3.5 million deaths a year that are caused by indoor air pollution in India. About 3.3 million deaths are caused by outdoor air pollution. About half a million deaths are caused by a combination of outdoor and indoor air pollution. During the Industrial Revolution, people lived in cramped houses called tenants. Their rent was cheap and in return the tenant facilities went up to building standards. A lot of the time people had one bathroom on the floor and didn't have that. These small living quarters had low living standards and almost no running water. Also, factories began modernizing with their new surplus of money. However, this new way of producing goods often used more natural resources than needed. For example, with the invention of the steam engine, coal was in high demand, as many factories began needing it to power their new machines. India today, a majority of the people lived in cramped houses or apartments in dirty slums. Often people don't have access to bathrooms, so they just go wherever they want. Their waste and garbage stays with them. They end up having huge piles and piles of waste living right next to their houses. Often these people also have little or no access to running water, let alone clean. Workers worked in airtight rooms without any windows and any air systems. They were fed only once a day and paid hardly anything for working their long hours. In 1952, pollutants from factories killed at least 4,000 people over the course of several days. During the Industrial Revolution, all building and worker codes were ignored, and men, women, and even kids were forced to work in deathly working conditions. Pollution isn't India's only environmental problem. India faces water pollution and a surplus of garbage and waste. People all around Delhi and India are dying from illnesses such as cholera and worms. Lower class Indians don't have access to clean water supplies and to stay alive they have to drink from public taps provided from the government. After years and years of problems like this going on in India. Finally, the Indian government has started to clean things up. But they need a helping hand.